channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe like comment share all that good stuff so today I want to talk about an important thing learning the head of a tune so when I say learning the head I'm referring to learning the melody learning the main melody of the tune um, when the tune starts that main melody throughout the chorus that's what you need to learn um, it could be from an instrumental like a jazz standard like I just played um, the head at least part of the head from um, the jazz standard, all the things you are. Um, but it could be from a song that has voice in it, vocals. You could learn the, the vocal part um, because it's, it's all good stuff. But I'm gonna tell you why it's good stuff. So when you learn the melody of a tune, it connects you to the tune. The, the melody is the main um, thing of the tune that gives it its characteristics. Of course, you have chords that have movements and passages and stuff, but the, mel the melody gives the song its, its, its character. You know what I mean? Whether, it's, whether the, the notes are going up in contour or it's going down or you have it's in forts or it's building suspense, all of that stuff gives the music its, its, ca its character. And then the good thing with melodies too, it shows you um, um, points where it's uh, tension and release. So, you know, when you're building, you know, a melodic line with tension, it has to go somewhere. It has to, you know, release at some point. So you learn that from learning, learning melodies. So learning the heads of a tune will, will give you that, uh, that, that training or that, that lesson you would need um, to learn how to do those kind of things. Like um, taking a line, you know, resolve it here. Right, so all these other notes, all these notes before this note, I wouldn't say they don't matter, but it what's important is where I'm landing. Right, so that melody is very beautiful, right? Right, that, that's another re resolution there. I just made that up. But what's important is where you resolve. You know, we play, we tend to play a lot of, you know, passing tones or passing chords but what's important is is the resolution so when you learn a head you you will those are the main like elements and components of learning the head so like i said you can learn the head from a jazz tune um i i really like learning the head from a jazz tune because uh most of the time it's complicated um like if you choose like a john coltrane or a charlie parker tune um it's usually really up tempo um it it, it swings hard it it has a lot of information in it to me it's almost just as important or even more important than learning the, just the solo because the melody you know it really brings out like i said the characteristics of the tune um and, and, it, and it what it does to you is it builds your confidence it really does build your confidence so like when you go to improvise and solo you you're not just starting anywhere like you have some reference point right so the so, you know, the melodies anchoring or the anchors in the tune and you have, you know, a reference point. So if I got lost, quote unquote, in the song, I could be like, well, oh, I know the melody. So I could refer back to the melody and it kind of help me come home and, you know, kind of go out. You know what I mean? So the thing is, how could another here's a trick question. How could you go out if you don't know how to play in? Right. So how could I play out? You know what I mean? Out, like some people like to play out the key of the song. So how could I play out if I don't know how to play in? So that's what the learning the melodies does. So if you know how to play in, you could play out. Cause then again, you know how to play out. You have something to reference from, right? So if you play in the melody, then that's usually the melodies are in, right? In, you know, it's, it's in the tune um, in, um, inside the key. So if you know how to play in, 
then if you're playing the melody and you're playing in, then you will know how to play out. You'll know how to approach that because you will know, okay, in is these notes, right? So you'll know how to play out to build, you know, some interesting motifs and ideas along the way to, to really draw in the listener. And the other thing too um, about learning the head is it keeps your solos and your improvisation cohesive. You know what I mean? Sometimes when we tend to solo, um, it, it becomes disjunct at some point, right? Like it, it, it kind of veers off into a weird direction. And then sometimes we may fumble and stumble. And then, you know, it, it just kind of fades off and it kills the momentum of the solo. So what learning the head does is it keeps everything in check. And, you know, it keeps you in check because you condition yourself to, to play in, you know, cohesively. And you will, if you condition yourself to play cohesively, then you will play cohesively, um, organically. So by doing that, you'll draw the attention of people, of your audience, into your solo, and they will stay until you end your solo. You know what I mean? So it's, an, it's important to understand to play that way, and you learn to play that way by learning the head of the song. So, I mean, you could take any tune, um, learn the head, you know what I mean? Take it slow. Um, I would say probably learn uh, four to eight measures at a time and then keep progressing through it and, you know, really memorize it, commit to memory. I mean, some people like to transcribe the notation, but I would suggest if you're learning ahead, commit to memory, right? It's just probably like 32 bars, you know, if it's a jazz song or, you know, it's, it's not that much, right? It's, it's the head, so it's not, it's not going to be like, four minutes of, you know, of the head. It's, it's gonna be like, probably like just the first, you know, um, fourth of the song or something. So learn learn it, commit to memory, and then, you know, analyze it, you know, Im imitate first, emulate, you know, make it yours. And then from, from that point, you can create your own. So I could take like, take that idea, like the first part of the melody, I could probably go, Right, so I could, I could build upon it. Right, so I could add like little. So it's, it's really just, you know, optional. It's, it's what you feel at the moment. It's what's inspiring you. And that's the other good thing, brings me to my next point. The, the, the head or the melody, the main melody, has a lot of thematic material in it. You know what I mean? It's a theme. It's a theme. It's either like it's a happy song or there's a mellow song or it's a sad song based on the melody. So it has a lot of thematic material in it. And then you could, it could pretty much influence you or inspire you on how you should approach your improvisation. Whether I should, you know, take it slow because it's like a ballad, you know what I mean? And really take my time with notes or maybe it's up tempo and I need to build momentum and, and, and really, you know, have some parts where I'm burning and shredding in areas. So the, the melody gives you hints and clues. That's my point. It gives you hints and clues um, on, on, on how you should address your solo or your improvisation in the song. So there's a lot of clues, there's a lot of ideas. Um, the last thing I would, I would say about um, learning the head and um, learning or learning the melody, same thing, is that it builds your chops. It really does build your chops because um, especially on this instrument, on this instrument we're used to grooving. We're used to doing that kind of stuff. But if you gotta do stuff like if you gotta do stuff like that, that's that's going outside of our conventional role as bass players, right? Because that stuff is mainly written for like a piano or a flute or a saxophone. So when you start to play things outside of your instrument that is like how do I figure out the fingering, first of all? That right there allows you to, to grow and develop um, 
skill, skill sets and techniques so just to be able to play that stuff, right? So it build, it naturally builds your chops. So it's a natural chop builder is what I call it. So learning a, a, a million. That kind of fumble there, but it's challenging, but it's fun because it's not the conventional or standard way of playing. the conventional way which is nothing wrong with that that has its, its its time and place but sometimes it's good to just you know be able to rip a melody out right right and I, and I get some of these ideas ideas from saxophone players right they might play arpeggio like they might go Right, it might hold that note and they might slide up. Right, and they, and they phrase that kind of way that they might do a triplet. And they might play, they might even play notes that we typically don't play. They might add, like, you know, instead of playing the five like that, they might go sharp five. They might play some notes that you don't really don't hear or, or use on, on the bass when you're just grooving, right? So that's what I'm saying. It's it's important to learn the head. Um, it, it will build your chops. It will make you think outside the box. It, it will even help your groove, right? Because now when you develop those, those skill sets and techniques just to be able to play those and pull off those melodies, that will help you to like play a groove, you know, differently, right? And then next thing you know, you're you're doing you're being innovative just from like thinking differently of your um thinking outside of the box, thinking outside of just bass playing, right? So learn the heads of the tune, learn the melodies. It'll keep you connected to the song. It'll make everything make sense. That's one thing I've learned or I noticed when I when I first learned the melody of a tune was it made everything make sense. It made what the piano player was playing make sense. It made what the drummer playing made sense because all those accents and all those like rhythmic figures and stuff like that were aligned with the melody were aligned with the melody the chords the harmony was aligned with the melody what, what the drum was doing you know in certain accent and stuff it was aligned with the melody the bass player you know Right, so it's, it's when I heard the melody, it made me understand how I could be effective, the most effective, and stay out of the way, right, and stay in my zone as a bass player. When I heard the melody, it kept me connected. It kept me very expanded just from my playing. And now I'm like, okay, I became more of a support to the to the person who was, you know, playing the melody. You know what I mean? Which is usually a, a saxophone or a keyboard player or something like that. Yeah, but anyways, guys, it's been a pleasure to talk about this this topic. Um, please provide feedback, comments. It's, it's all 